let's start working on question two in this video. So we have a firm that can be in two states, good and bad. So good economy versus bad economy. Now the probability of being in a good economy is P and one minus P is the remaining probability of being in a bad economy. That affects the profit of the company and the utility of the workers in the company. It's given in this table over here, so let's interpret it below. Now we just said the probability P is good, the probability one minus P is bad. What, are the, what does that mean? Let's see. If the workers demand a good wage, sorry, if the workers demand if the workers demand a high wage, when the economy is good, what, are that, what does that mean? The company makes good money because everything goes well. Uh, it has you know, enough revenues to pay the workers. So the workers get a high salary, but because the company has to incur this high costs of wage, it only breaks even. So it makes zero profit. Now let's go to this other cell. What if the workers claim a low wage when the economy is good? Well, in that sense, the company makes a lot of money, but it pays little wages, so it pays little costs, meaning that it keeps a lot of profit uh, in the pocket. So the profit is positive. Uh, on the other side, the workers get low wage. Uh, well, that's not that bad. So the utility is just equal to zero. Now let's see what happens. Let's see what happens over here when the economy is bad. When the economy is bad and the workers demand a high wage, well, the company is under stress, under financial stress. It does not have much money, but the workers go on strike and demand that high wage and the, the company is trying to pay whatever it can. So it's left basically with a negative profit. It's a low revenue and high costs, but the workers have a negative utility because they actually don't get the money that they deserve. They get very little since the company cannot afford to pay what they demand. That's why their utility is negative. We have the data over here. U bar is the worst case scenario. It's a utility lower than zero and positive U is the best case scenario. Same goes for the company. Uh, profit with the bar means loss. Zero means breaking even. P is just a good thing, it's just a positive profit. Now, if the economy is bad and they demand a low wage, well, in that case, the company has low revenue, but also incurs, incurs low costs of wages, so it just breaks even, profit equals zero. On the other side, the workers, well, they at least get money, right? They at least get some money. Even though it's little, it's better than not getting it at all. That's why their utility is only zero. Now, in part A, under what case will the workers always demand high wages? Let's see. So the idea is this. We deal with probabilities, right? Good versus bad economy, meaning we have uncertainty, meaning we have to deal with expected values. And since we think about the workers, the workers maximize their own utilities so that they want the expected utility of demanding a high wage to be greater than the expected utility of demanding a low wage. Now we have to deal with these probabilities. What is the expected utility of demanding a high wage? We are working with this column over here. So with the probability P, the utility might be U. So that would be one part of the expression P times U plus with the remaining probability, which is one minus P when the economy is bad. So one minus P, the utility could be negative. So that's U bar, that's U bar over here. And that's that must compensate whatever is happening when they claim low wage. So when they claim low wage is what we do in the second column over here. So we go to the second column over here and we do the same math with the probability P. They might get a utility equals to zero. So that's P times zero and the remaining probability one minus P they might get a utility also equals to zero when the economy is bad. So one minus P times zero. All this math over here turns out to be just zero. So that's going to be just zero. And over here, let's open the brackets to see what we get. We would have P times U. So it's P times U plus one multiplied with U bar minus P times U bar. So P times U bar. We want to know under what condition they demand a high wage. What does that condition mean? That means the certainty level that the economy is good. That means the probability P. Because remember, the workers would claim high wage. They would go on strike to claim high wage if they have a high chance of getting those high wages. Because there is no point to demand a high wage when the company is having, uh, you know, losses when the company is actually suffering because they would not get that money at all. So that's why they have to have a level of certainty that the economy is good so that they will claim those high wages. Let's see what that certainty level must be. Let's see what that probability must be. P is over here and P is over here. Let's take it as a common factor to see what we're left in the brackets. So from here we have the term U. Over there we have the term minus U bar. So U minus U bar and then plus the remaining which is U bar plus u bar must be greater than zero. This must be greater than zero. Now let's see what P is, what that probability must be. So P must be, must be greater than, let's take the terms on the other side. U bar goes to the right side with a negative sign. So minus U bar divided by U minus U bar. 
u minus u bar. That's what we have over here. Under this condition, they will claim they will claim high wages if the opposite holds. So if p is less than that, let's just write it like like this. P is less than that expression, then the opposite is true that they will claim low wages since the expected utility of low wages would be higher. So if this holds true, then they would claim low wages. Hope this makes sense. In the next video, we go to part B.